Tell me about this this project that you're involved in. You know, I'm honored. I mean, it's the first one, and I'm with I'm with three other guys, and they're all great board builders, and they're going to turn out some really cool boards. I'm excited to see those. So I'm I'm always coming up with new projects for myself, and this one was presented to me. So all I had to do was figure out the board to make, and came up with a elephant gun 11-4, and uh, it's a model that I make. Uh, it's a C2 um, gun. It's, that's the name of the, my model. And I started making it about five years ago. And I really like that board. I really love shaping that board. It's based on the old Brewers, Surfboards Hawaii, um, uh, with the concave in the tail. And I've just changed some stuff around and uh, made it a little different. And uh, they've worked out. Um, they've worked out really good. And I use I use the same design on little hulls. And I'm really happy with the way they just roll onto the rail. The way the the way there's a little little um, the concave goes into a bevel to a higher rail. That's that's hard. That's what I'm making. How many man hours do you think you have into this project board, would you say? I don't know. I knew going in that I would, like, what I tend to do over and over again in my board building career is come up with some harebrained project and then I'm in it and, and I go all in. So the time it takes to make it doesn't bother me. It's not about making money on the surfboard or this. Like the, the, I, the calendar project I did, what, five years ago? But it was a great project to make some, make some boards that were, I wouldn't have made otherwise. You know, it, it, it's all about you know, the joy of making the surfboard and riding the surfboards. You know? Anything special about the construction of, of this board? Well, I wanted to really go crazy on the, on the build of this board because I've made a lot of boards that are pretty and, and um, work good and, and you know, uh, strong. And I wanted to take it to a new level and try to make something that's very unique. And in, in the case of this board, it's not a uh, practical board to make. Uh, it's not like I'm gonna make 10 of these things. It's, it's, it's very time consuming. You know, um, uh, it has really heavy foam, all chambered out and really light foam put in it. And um, at every step I've, I've really thought, put a lot of thought into the strength along with the, the ride. Strength is different levels depending on what you're making. You know, this is this is a big wave board. It better be strong. That's why that's that's my whole thought in in the build. What would be the ideal situation where you'd like to see this board? I mean, well, you know, I, I, when I when I made the first C2, it was a, it was a big gun. I just surfed in California, right. you know, and I don't ride huge surf, but you know, I rode some fair sized waves on it and everything, and it was it was really fun. I'd like to see this board. I know uh, some of these C2s have gone to Hawaii and, and been, been some big surf, and the guys, they come back. I, I get good reports, you know, uh, in, the, in that element. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm stoked on that. I just don't picture going to all this work to have a board hanging on a wall. It's right. just not my thing. And people kind of put me in that category, possibly, maybe, because the boards are pretty, but it's really not my intent ever mm -hmm. to um, have a board that's not ridden.